Dude, so you just saw that. I just got a brand new snowboard. So big shout out to Academy Snowboards. So hyped to be able to ride a board, review a board, and let you guys, more importantly, know what I think about the board. So it's gonna be really sick. It is a camber profile board. If you guys know me, I'm a huge fan of camber. I swear, they make me land more tricks. And I'm gonna give you guys a full review on this board. So make sure you guys stay tuned at any point. You like the content, definitely give it a thumbs up. Also, let me know what snowboard you guys are riding down below and have you ever been on an Academy snowboard? Make sure you let me know in the comments down below. That graphic though. And, uh, and it looks like they sent us some extra cool stuff. I'm not exactly sure what we got in the box in the special packaging, let's go. Maybe it's a winning lottery ticket. And we're gonna have our dream park we've always been talking about. They sent me a stack of stickers, which we all love freaking stickers. Let's go, you cannot go wrong with stickers. They also sent me this really sick little like uh, piece of wood with their logo on it. And that's what's sick about these guys is they literally go the extra mile to make sure you're stoked. Their customer service has been absolutely amazing so far. So I was super hyped on that. Also a catalog. So just so you guys know, I will be testing out every single one of their boards uh, this winter and giving, giving you a full review of what I think of Academy Snowboards. I'm super excited because they have a lot of camber options and a lot of different style boards, which I think is going to really benefit you. The video I'm thinking about doing is a video on on what camber profile you guys should be using so if you're digging that kind of content dude let me know i definitely want i definitely want to know if you guys dig that so i got a couple more of these dude these guys are sick dude let's go do you guys know what this is do you know what it is dude and we will definitely be repping this shirt uh tomorrow on hill it'll be underneath my hoodie because I rock, I rock a hoodie every single time but dude let's go big shout out to academy snowboards thank you so much for all the stickers all the stoke and a board that i can try out and uh review i'm so excited this is gonna be the sickest thing ever <laughs> reviewing the academy 150 propacamba this board is sick so let's get right into it there's two reasons why i didn't do the review at the mountain first it's really loud and super windy and lots of music going on and i didn't want that to interrupt the audio because it's a big deal you got to hear what i got to say the second part is i also wanted to give myself a day to process what it was like to ride the snowboard and think about it so we can, so I could give you as much good information as possible. So a couple things I wanted to break down in this review was what did I think of it? What is the technology behind it? And what I liked about that and equally as important or maybe even more important, who is this board for? First, that it's actually produced in Colorado slash the United States and it's at the Never Summer Factory. So there's a lot of high quality materials that go into the board. So. For me, I ride between 150 to 250 days a year, depending what I do in the summer, but I need a board that's gonna be able to last 
150 plus days. Uh, so the construction of this board, you can feel that it's very quality. It's not super heavy to be durable. You can just feel that the construction is really good. So this board does have a micro camber. So it's not overly aggressive and super stiff. It's more on the playful jibby side, but it has the camber that's gonna allow you to get some pop and some perform performance out of your snowboard. So the micro camber is really sick. This is a true twin snowboard, which means when you ride left or right or regular goofy, it's gonna feel the same. Also, it has a centered base material. Just so you guys know, center base material is extremely important for hitting jumps simply because it holds wax better and it's gonna be faster. So as I'm going into a jump, I would rather have a board that's too fast or I can slow down a little bit versus the opposite. If I have a board that is going too slow, well, there's no way to pick up speed. So the base material on this board is actually really fast. It's gonna come in handy a lot when you're snowboarding, whether it's uh, uh, big jumps, rails, groomers, even that like flat spot on the catwalk, like the base material on this board is gonna help you. So it is a true twin, it is micro camber and has a centered base. I felt like this board was super easy to ride. Right out of the packaging, I just waxed it up, detuned the tip and tail and it was ready to go. So riding rails was super easy riding jumps were super easy because the board felt really uh, playful but this is something I've never experienced so this board is a 150 but it felt like it rode like a 148 I randomly was gonna do like a 133 run and I felt that I could just go back seven which was kind of funny because the board feels smaller than the size which means that it's easier to maneuver around and I really liked that I thought it was really fun uh, so the question for you guys, you're probably wondering who the heck is this board for? So if you're looking for a little bit more performance out of your board, a little bit more stable when it comes to riding groomers and, and jumps and stuff, and you're looking for a little bit more high performance. So if you put energy into the board, you're gonna get more energy out, like we talked about with the camber profile. You're gonna be able to get a lot more pop. You're gonna get a lot more stable feeling, but it's gonna make you feel a lot more locked into the snow. And in my opinion, that's a good thing. My biggest thing when I snowboard is I wanna feel like I'm in control. A lot of times, a lot of the there's a lot of different variations of boards out there that are designed to feel out of control, be a little bit more buttery, but this is gonna help you feel in control. But the thing about this board is it's not overly stiff where you have to put 100% energy in it to get the board out. You can be a little bit more mellow or lazy or efficient with your energy and still get performance out of it. And that was like probably my favorite part is with my other boards that I'm traditionally used to. I have to put so much energy into it to like get it to perform. So that was pretty exciting. So if you guys wanna pick up this board or at least get some more information about the board, I'm gonna link it down below. Also, let me know if you guys want me to do more reviews of, of snowboards I would like to do their whole Academy snowboard line and give you guys my thoughts of like who the snowboard is for and how it performs and how it rides so uh, let me know if I should be doing more of these reviews well on that note guys thank you guys so much for hanging out with me definitely give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're new to the channel and we're gonna be putting out more content next week so make sure you guys come back all right guys on that note keep killing it uh, we're out of here